So last week I talked about how Microsoft finally revealed the pricing for the Xbox Series X and Series S. And I was really happy about the pricing. But this week, Sony revealed the pricing for the PlayStation 5. And watch out Xbox. Hey guys, welcome to Retether Tech. My name is Jonathan and last week in tech, Sony revealed some more information about the PlayStation 5, specifically the pricing for the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. The regular standard PlayStation 5 is going to cost $500 and the Digital Edition is going to cost $400. Now when you compare it to the Xbox Series X which is $500 and the Series S which is $300, I can argue that you're still getting a better value with the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition when compared to the Xbox Series S because it's the exact same PlayStation 5 hardware. You're getting pretty much the same thing minus the disk drive, minus the Blu-ray drive. That's it. The performance will still be exactly the same. It's going to have native 4K gaming up to 120 frames per second. All of that for $400, that's great. Now on paper, the Xbox Series X looks to be the more powerful console and the Series S is gonna be fine for most people. The reason for that is the 1440p gaming up to 120 frames per second. That's gonna be fine for most people. Yes, 1440p isn't gonna be as good as native 4K, but it's not trash either. The only downside is 4K gaming is gonna get more and more popular with the years to come. 4K TVs, 4K monitors are only gonna get cheaper and that means 4K gaming is only gonna get more popular. And if you want a console that's gonna give you the best experience for the next seven years, because that's how long these next gen consoles will probably last until there's a new generation console, that's how long the PlayStation 4 lasted, seven years. You're gonna have to go with a more powerful console like the Series X or the PlayStation 5. And that's why the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition is such a good value because for only $100 more than the Series S, you're getting a way more capable console. You're getting a console that's on the same level as the Xbox Series X for $100 less minus the disk drive, minus the Blu-ray drive. That's it. Ultimately though, I think it's gonna come down to the gaming library. And we all know that PlayStation dominates Xbox when it comes to original first party exclusives. There is really no contest, at least in my opinion. Now it might come down to your preference. You might prefer the games, the first party exclusives on the Xbox. And if you do, then you kind of already made the decision for yourself, right? If you like those games that are on the Xbox, you're probably going to buy an Xbox. But for me personally, I always preferred the first party exclusives on the PlayStation. So that's why I'm kind of leaning towards the PlayStation 5 for this next gen console. It also might come down to the last gen console that you had before. If you had a PlayStation 4, you might prefer a PlayStation 5 because it's backwards compatible. The same thing for the Xbox Series X. It's going to be backwards compatible with the Xbox One games. But Microsoft even took that a step further because they're saying that the Xbox Series X is also going to be backwards compatible with Xbox 360 games and the original Xbox games. Now you're probably thinking, well, who owned the original Xbox anyways? And you're right, but it's there if you want to buy original Xbox games. Well, now that we have the pricing for the next gen consoles, which console should you buy? Well, I think we still have to wait and see. I wanna see how both of these consoles perform. I'm kinda leaning towards the PlayStation like I mentioned before, but I still wanna see what Microsoft and Xbox has to offer. I've owned the previous PlayStation consoles and I've always been a huge Sony PlayStation fan over the Xbox. But I still wanna wait and see what Microsoft does with Game Pass. I wanna see Game Pass on Xbox and see if it's really a game changer like Microsoft hopes it is. But what do you guys think? Which console do you guys prefer? 
Let me know with a comment down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.